Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on analysis and design of algorithms. In this session, I shall explain topological sorting using the DFS method. This is an example too. In the previous session, I have explained in detail with one example. It is applicable only for DAG that is directed acyclic graph. The given graph will be what? A directed acyclic graph and you are supposed to find the topological ordering for this given graph. For the solution, you can make three columns here, selected vertex, adjacent vertex and popped vertex and keep one provision here for the stack. So, we will start with any vertex. I will start from alphabetical order. Let me choose the vertex A. So, the one which I am choosing here A, I will first place it in the stack. I will select that vertex, find its neighbors. For A, the neighbor is only one vertex C. So, C becomes the adjacent vertex and C is also placed in the stack. Now select that adjacent vertex C and then see what is the neighbor for the vertex C. For C you have the adjacent vertex or neighbor. Sometimes I am using neighbor or sometimes I am using adjacent vertex. Both means the same. So, so C has got one neighbor it is E. So E is now placed here in this column. Then for E you just check which are the neighbors. You have only one here F. Previous step for the selected vertex E, the neighbor is E that E should also be placed in the stack. Then for the adjacent vertex E, the neighbor is F, okay, that F, the neighbor is F, so the F will be placed in the stack. Now from the graph if you see for F, you have one neighbor that is G, F, that particular vertex you are selecting it and placing here in the selected vertex. And then for that F you are checking the neighbors, you have G here as seen in the graph. So now for F your adjacent vertex is G, select that G that means you are place it in the stack, you will select that and find for G what are the neighbors. For G there are no neighbors at all, so that becomes the dead end. The moment you see any vertex which is not having a neighbor, then you need to pop out. Presently the stack pointer is pointing to vertex G. So now G will be popped out and it will be placed here in the popped vertex. Next in the stack is F. So for F what you are trying to check is are there any neighbors. For F there was only one neighbor G and which was already visited. So F has got now no neighbors at all. So you have to pop out place it in the popped vertex. Now the stack pointer is pointing to E. So you place here find the neighbors for E. E has got only one neighbor that is F which is already visited. So no more neighbors for E then you need to pop out and place that E in the popped vertex. Stack pointer is now for C. C check which are the neighbors. C you have only one neighbor E which is already visited. So no more neighbors for C you need to pop out. Place it in the popped vertex column. Now the stack pointer is pointing to vertex A. So vertex A you check the neighbors. For A you have only one neighbor C which is already visited. So no more neighbors for the vertex A. Then A need to be popped out. If these were the only vertices present in the graph A, C, E, F, G then by this time we would have got the topological sorting. But still we have B and D in the graph which are not visited. Hence this algorithm once again that means in the algorithm you are calling the topological sorting again for the nodes which are not visited. Now you need to check for B and D. So start again selected vertex as B that means first place it in the stack then select the vertex check the neighbors for B. B has got C and D. C is already visited. D is not visited. So D is the adjacent vertex for B. D you need to place it in the stack also. Select that D. Check the adjacent vertices for D. For D you have only one vertex F which is already visited. So no more neighbors for D. It will be a dash. So you need to pop out. So you will bring that D to the popped vertex. Now one more element is remaining in the stack. Take that element. Check its neighbors. So in the graph you can see B has got neighbors C and D. C and D both are visited. So no more neighbors for B. You have to pop it out. So pop it out and place it here in the popped vertex column. 
this algorithm will see that all the vertices are visited now check all the nodes that are present in the popped vertex column g f e c a d b same thing you can write here g f e c a d b reverse this you will get b d a c e f g so this one is your final answer you may have one more solution also that means a graph may have multiple topological ordering now i started with the vertex a suppose if you have started with vertex b then your order may slightly change but finally what is that you have to see the solution must be correct how to verify the solution always see that the nodes which are there in the order in the graph there is a direct edge existing now you can check here the first node is b b is having a directed edge to d if there if there is a directed edge from b to d as seen in the graph then b will appear before d in the solution next is what d now d comes before a now you must be wondering that in the graph d is here a is here so if you remember in while explaining also i told you this particular solution we got by calling the topological ordering algorithm twice once it got applied to a c e f g and second time it got applied to b and d so now b and d yes there is an order followed next you start checking from a a is having a directed edge to c in the graph yes there is a directed edge so a comes before c uh, c is having a directed edge to e so c comes before e e is having a directed edge to f so e comes before f f is having a directed edge to g so f comes before g so this way you can verify your solution so this is how you need to carry out the steps for the topological ordering and the time complexity for this algorithm is order of v plus e v is the number of vertices in the graph e is the number of edges if the count has to be referred you can put the cardinality symbol here this is how you need to carry out the solution for the topological sorting using the dfs method hope you find this helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care